for Article 97. And um, so this is uh, recorded. This is recorded by video and audio in accordance with open meeting law. And we get a flag salute and a moment of silence, please. Um, Council O'Hara. Thank you. 
If such a legal challenge is mounted, it will likely take several years to wind its way through the courts. While the city may ultimately be successful in such a court case, it would likely take time, time that the school building committee does not have. Therefore, it is prudent to request Article 97 relief from the legislature as if Mayo's Field has Article 97 protection. The third question then is how should the city proceed? It is not uncommon in Massachusetts for a municipality to petition the legislature to allow it to change the use of an Article 97 protected piece of property. In fact, there are a number of bills before the legislature right now requesting this very thing in different communities. In any Article 97 process, the Executive Office of Energy and Environmental Affairs, EEA, is the agency on point. On February 19, 1998, the EEA, then referred to as the EOEA, issued an Article 97 land disposition policy. This policy stated that in order for the city to use a piece of property that had Article 97 protection, the city would need to replace it with a piece of property of equal or greater fair market value and significantly greater resource value that also has Article 97 protection. This is EEA's no net loss policy. It means that according to EPA, the city would need to offer another piece of property to be used in place of Davos Field and deed restrict it so that there is no net loss of Article 97 protected open space in Boston. 